Combining all these words together, unsurpassed, equally perfect enlightenment. This is the ultimate goal of Buddhism, Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi. And that's what we all should seek for, what Buddhas and Bodhisattvas seek for in the end. Work so hard for this one thing. This enlightenment is pure, perfect, and unsurpassed. If you look for this, then you are truly a hero. Because this enlightenment is real, put it in any circumstances, you will generate a lot of good stuff. But if you look for this wealth, we call it the phenomena, the form, those things are conditional. They will appear when the condition is met and cease to appear when the condition is not met. So they are fake in that sense. They are not permanent. But this enlightenment means the awakening to it. It is unsurpassed. We'll leave it to next week to understand why it is called Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi. What does it mean? Every single sutra has it. Because I would like to get into depth, in better depth, so that we can understand. The first step in learning Buddhism is to set a goal, and the first goal is to liberate yourself from sufferings and attain happiness. And the second goal we set in Buddhism, which is what we look for in Buddhism, is this Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi. Why do we go to the Pure Land? Why do we pay so much hard work to do that? It gives so much hard work to chant and join because you want to attain Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi in the Pure Land. No matter what method you're learning under Buddhist teachings, the whole thing is to lead you to Anuttara Samyak Sambodhi.